dear students welcome to all of you today we are here to discuss silent features of classification by angler and prandtl first the introduction the biological classification is defined as a process of giving hierarchy of categories by scientific procedure based on features of organisms and arranging them into different groups the need of the biological classification is to study and include each organism along with its identification and habitat and to establish their relationship among different organisms and to know about their evolution adolf engler and karl a e prentel of germany published an evolutionary system in their monograph die naturlichen peplinsen familien their classification is based on evolutionary sequence as well as genetic relationships among different groups of plants in addition to this it implies as many taxon characters as possible charles darwin's concept of origin of species had given enough stimuli for the creation of evolutionary system of classification angler and prentel made attempts to rectify the shortcomings of ekler and bentham and hooker's classification in this system the flowering plants were supposed to have originated along two independent lines from unknown wind pollinated gymnosperms one line led to the most primitive dicotyles the amentifi a group of wind pollinated plants with small apetalous flowers in unisexual inflorescences called amentus or catkins the other line led to the most primitive modern monocotyles the pandanales thus they proposed a polyphyletic origin of angiosperms the evolutionary trends as suggested by engler and prentel are as under first apetalous to polypetalous to sympetalous actinomorphic to zygomorphic unisexual to bisexual hypogynous to epigynous the significant feature of their system is that they placed monocotyledons before dicotyledons considered the orchids to be more highly advanced than the grasses the apetalous and catkin bearing dicotyledons as primitive to the flowers which bear petals and simple unisexual flowers the vivus are however not acceptable to most of the recent phylogeneticists the unification of the polypetaly and apetaly recognized as separate by bentham and hooker was certainly a forward step most of the prominent herbaria of the world are arranged according to this system in this system the families were arranged as per the increasing complexity of the flower fruit and seed development now the silent features of the classification this system is based on ekler system who was the first person to propose evolutionary system of classification it is an evolutionary system proposed subsequent to the acceptance of darwin's theory of evolution based on the assumption that the flowering plants where perianth is absent are evolutionary primitive the gymnosperms are considered to be more primitive and hence were placed before angiosperms the monocotyledons precede the dicotyledons an idea which gets little support from recent work on fossil data they never thought that the former group is derived from the later the class dicotyledony was divided into two subclasses namely archclymidae and metaclymidae or sympetaly flowers without perianth that is eclymidas are those with one whorl of perianth that is monoclymidas were considered to be primitive and those with two whorled perianth distinguished into sepals and petals as advanced unisexual flowers were considered to be more primitive than bisexual ones the clazogamy was considered to be more primitive character the epigynous condition is more advanced than hypogynous condition apocarpy is regarded as a primitive feature and syncarpy as an advanced feature the evolution of angiosperms is regarded as polyphyletic the families such as caspariaceae selicaceae 
bitulesi, fagesi, etc., with naked unisexual flowers and sin carpus gynosia, are placed before families such as Mermoliaceae and Ranunculaceae. Polypetali and monochlamidae were unified under the single group that is Archiclamidae, while Metaclamidae include those families with sympetalous corollas. Flowering plants were divided comparatively in large groups on the basis of few characters and several allied families were separated. The monocotyledons start with the pandanales which include those families divided up or with a very imperfect period. The pandanales are now considered a very advanced group. The monocotyledons end with the orchidaceae, a family highly advanced but certainly not advanced over grasses, that is graminae. Monochlamidae is completely abolished as such and families are distributed in the large series called Archiclamidae. The angular and parental system dominates over all the previous natural systems of classification but certainly is based on these systems. It is based on the increasing complexity of plant parts, particularly essential whirls of flowers. Gamopetalous condition considered more advanced than the polypetalous condition. Indefinite number of stamens and carpels are primitive to a definite number of stamens and carpels. Monocotyledonous have been classified into 11 orders and 45 families, whereas dicotyledonous classified into 44 orders and 261 families. In the monocotyledony as well as dicotyledony, they placed families with unisexual, periodless, wind pollinated flowers in the beginning and those with bisexual, dicalamidious, insect pollinated flowers as an advanced position. Thus, the angiospermas are arranged in an ascending series according to the increased complexity and elaboration of flowers, although the system is not evolutionary in the strict sense. The monochlamidae includes 11 orders which have naked unisexual flowers. The typhacy of pandanales is considered to be more primitive. The family orchidaceae is considered to be more advanced one and it is placed at the end of the classification in the order Microspermy. The order Glumiflori, which includes Gramini, is the fourth order and due recognition is not given to its advanced characters. The class Dicotyledony is divided into two subclasses that is Archiclamidae and Metaclamidae. In the Archiclamidae, the first families are Echlamidas or Monochlamidas and the later ones are Dicalamidas and Polypetalus. The first orders of Archiclamidae are Vatsilate, Pipereales, Hydrostachialas, Salicales, Garyales, etc., which have naked unisexual wind pollinated flowers in catkins or aments. These families with amentus of wind pollinated flowers are referred to as homogeneous group called amentiferi. The Echlamidas families are followed by the monochlamidas ones. The centrospermy is the last order having families with one whorl of period. The Casuarinaceae included within Vatsilati is considered to be primitive on account of Clausogamy. The dicalamidias polypetalous families start with renales in which the flowers are spirocyclic or cyclic and hypogynous. The apocarpy is recognized to be primitive. The polypetalous orders end with the myrtiflori and umbiliflori which have epigynous flowers. The sympetally includes gamopetalous families. It commences with ericales, primulales, etc. The orders Contorti and Tubiflori include families that were recognized under bicarpinati by Bentham and Hooker system and are hypogynous. The rubiales having rubiaceae, cucurbitales with cucurbitaceae and campanulales with composity are placed at the end. 
these three orders are placed at the end as they have epigynous families. And the Cucurbitaceae, which was placed in the polypetaly by Bentham and Hooker, is placed in sympetaly on account of its gamopetalous corolla overlooking its relationship with passiflorescy. The placing of compositi at the end of sympetaly is justified on account of several advanced features such as the presence of a capitulum, zygomorphy of ray floretus, unisexuality of ray floretus, adaptation of pollination and excellent means of dispersal of its fruits. Angular and parental included the keys and description of all known genera of plants from algae to angiosperms. Their system of classification is based on the trends of evolution in existing families. Now, we will discuss the outline of classification of angular and parental. In this system, plant kingdom is divided into 14 divisions. These are Schizophyta, Mixothelophyta, Flagellate, Dinoflagellate, Bacillariophyta, Conjugate, Heteroconti, Chlorophyce, Carophyta, Pheophyce, Rhodophyta, Eumycetes, Archegoniate, and the last one, Embryophyta or seed plants. The division Embryophyta is subdivided into two subdivisions, the Gymnospermy and Angiospermy. The subdivision Angiospermy is further divided as follows. Subdivision Angiospermy. The subdivision Angiospermy is based on the characters that ovules are enclosed in the ovary and trachea or true vessels are present. It is divided into two classes, monocotyledony and dicotyledony. First, the monocotyledony. This class is characterized by a single cotyledon. The leaves are with parallel venation, flowers trimerous, stem with closed vascular bundles. It includes 11 orders and 45 families. The 11 orders are Pandanellas, Hellobi, Triuridales, Gulumiflori, Prisipus, Sinanthi, Sipathiflori, Ferinosi, Liliflori, Cytomini, and Microspermy. Now the class Dicotyledony. This class is characterized by two cotyledons, leaves with reticulate venation, flowers tetramerous or pentamerous, system with open vascular bundles. It is divided into two subclasses. First, the archiclamidae and second, metaclamidae. First, the archiclamidae. Petal is always free. The subclass archiclamidae include 33 orders. These are verticillate, piperellas, hydrostatialas, salicellas, garyellas, myricellas, blenopsidellas, lepmeriellas, juglandellas, batidellas, julianellas, phagellas, urticellas, podastimonellas, proteellas, centellas, aristolachiellas, blenophorellas, polygonellas, centrospermi, magnoliellas, Rhodiolas, Saracinolas, Rosellas, Tandolas, Giranolas, Septondolas, Ramnolas, Malvolas, Paraitolas, then Opensiolas, Multiflori, and Umbelliflori. Subclass Metacalamity. Petal is always fused. The subclass Metacalamity include 11 orders. These are Diatensiolas, Iricales, Primulales, Palum Baginales, Ibinales, Contoti, Tubiflori, Palantaginales, Rubiales, Cucurbitales, and Campanulati. Now, the merits and demerits of angular and parental system of classification. First, the merits. The large artificial group of Bentham and Hooker system the monoclamidae has been completely abolished 
and its families have been distributed among the related farmers with three petals in arch calamity series. Number second, subclass sympetally corresponds to the gametally of Bentham and Hooker system. The orchids were considered highly evolved than the crosses. Then, gymnosperms are treated separately. Now, the demeritus of angular and parental system of classification. First, monocotus have been considered to be more primitive than dicotus, which does not correspond to the present day evidence. Number second, derivation of parental placentation from exile placentation. Number third, derivation of dichlamidias flowers that is period two series from monochlamidias one is, that is period single series is objectionable. Number fourth, derivation of entomophily from enemophily. This is all about angular and parental system of classification. Dear students, we have discussed over here silent features of classification proposed by angular and parental. We have also discussed the merits and demerits of classification system proposed by angular and parental. Thank you very much. God bless you.